first I am taking this plate of one package turkey meat and I add to that five ounces of the lean beef. Sometimes when you cook chili just with the turkey meat, I notice that it's a bit drying. So that's why I add in the beef. Now I'm adding in one teaspoon of salt. That looks like a lot, doesn't it? Well, this is about six to eight servings of chili, so I'm kind of figuring it's okay. You can always lessen that if you don't want the full teaspoon. Now I'm adding in one teaspoon of pepper. This next big bunch is three tablespoons of chili powder. I think the original chili recipe had six tablespoons of chili powder. And I thought, whoa, that is way too much. Next, we have my favorite ingredient in the whole chili is one tablespoon of smoked paprika. And I think next time I'm going to add two. Here I have one and a half teaspoons of cumin. Last but not least, that is one teaspoon of coriander. Lots of dry herbs going into this chili. Here I have one tablespoon, one teaspoon, sorry, of garlic and herb mustache, one teaspoon of oregano, two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to add the bay leaves at the end. Now I'm adding in one small can of tomato paste, four tablespoons of Worcestershire. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. uh, two and a half cups of chicken broth and then one can of kidney beans and I rinse those thoroughly before putting them into our pot here and one can of diced tomatoes I think there was herbs added to this can now you just want to mix everything through so that it cooks evenly just looking at this I'm noticing that I need a bigger crock pot this crock pot was gifted to me, and so that's why I guess I just never got around to getting a bigger one. And to save myself time from dicing a bunch of vegetables, I get this from Trader Joe's, and um, it is diced carrots, onions, and celery. Now, you can add any vegetables to your uh, chili, so please feel free to just do that. That's my son coming in. This trash. <sighs> I'm just trying to mix everything thoroughly. So much goodness in this crock pot right now, people. I just can't tell you enough. It's so, so good. Yep. I like my chili actually more watery. It's kind of nice watching yourself cook. And then you can know what to add in more later. More chicken broth. I'm going to add my bay leaves in last but not least. And we'll take those out after the chili is cooked. Add a lid on top and this baby is ready to go. Two thumbs up. And now I'm walking it over to the crock pot. And I am setting the crock pot on high. Setting that on high so that it cooks faster. And because it's overfilled, I am putting, I'm lining the bottom of my crock pot with a paper towel and a kitchen towel. And that is going to cook for five hours and 30 minutes. Okay, YouTube. So I am finally here. It is the end of the night. I just walked in from my worship practice and I'm so excited because my food is nice and warm and ready for me to eat. So I will go ahead and put all the inf nutritional information at the bottom. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. I've added some cheddar cheese and I've also added a daub of sour cream. Alrighty, let's see how it is. Excited. Well, you know what would make this better is if I had my cornbread on the side, which is what I usually eat along with it. So I'm just going to check it out. Mmm. Cooking it in a crock pot at this amount of time, the vegetables are not soggy. They still got a little bit of crunch to it. It is so good. I wish you guys could smell how good this chili is and taste it. I hope 
that you guys will go ahead and give this recipe a try. And please let me know in the comments if you did try it. Now with all the ingredients, you kind of adjust it. Like I didn't have any fresh garlic, so that should have gone in there. And then you adjust if you like your, um, your chili a little sweeter, you can go ahead and add more brown sugar. If you like a little bit more spice, jalapenos, you go ahead and feel free to do that too. Chili in the crock pot is so ideal because you can go about your day and know that when you get home, you're gonna have a nutritious meal waiting for you. So I do hope that you try it. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, to press that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified on all my new video updates. Okay, God bless you all and have a good night. Bye.